Well, it's just after 10 o'clock. A big, big thank you to David Gallagher for the past two hours. Welcome to the album show. It's a Wednesday night. It's the 12th of March. We've got a great show for you tonight. Let's get a show on the way from their home EP. This is Losing Ground and Singing Casey. On the show tonight, it's very privileged to have Irvin Bond singer-songwriter Johnny Graham in session. Him and his guys are tuning up as we speak. They're going to play a couple of tracks from the album, and then he's got another track as well. Many tracks? Three. Three. Uh, we'll be t- anyway, we shall be talking to Johnny and the guys very, very soon. And in the studio... Hi, Johnny. Welcome to Irvin BFM. FM. Hello. Oh, we get his mic up. Yep, that's it. You hear me now, yes, can hear you now. Johnny, welcome down to the studio. And I know we've been talking a wee while about doing this, but it's good to finally get you down. <laughs> it's good to be here. Now, it's funny, you're just saying there the album, it sounds so old now because it was actually recorded, you were saying it was recorded two and a half years ago. Yep, um, the second anniversary, it was just there on the second of March. So that's that's been two years just past. Um, and I am... I'm just dying to get new stuff out to be honest Have you been recording stuff? We've, we've started on the new album um, Unfortunately it costs a lot of money Well that's uh, Johnny It's the same story with every band I've had And I've got to wait to get the funds saved up Luckily we have contacts now We can kind of wrangle a few favours here and there yeah. you know? But aye, we're, we're about three songs in That's good so Hopefully that's that'll good. be another maybe 11 Hopefully 12. I'd like to push it to 12 tracks. Yeah. You've got a gig coming up in Adrosin fairly soon, haven't you? Yeah. Um, I was supporting a guy that used to play with Bad Company. Dave Cowell. That's his name, I. Yeah. That'll be a good gig. He's a good, he's a good act. Is that right? I've, no, seen, I've, him, seen, him. I've seen him. I've seen him, yeah. Him. He's good a good act. act. Good We're act. looking forward to it, but the boys hadn't heard him. In fact, Nick, Nick had to Google <laughs> him. So he did. The wonders, of, the wonders, the wonders of the internet, yeah. You know, you find out these things, but um, aye, it'll be good to see. My dad's actually playing at that gig as well. Ah, um, uh, the junkyard dogs. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, I know of them. Yeah, the main support. So that should be good. I'm not seeing them this year, in fact. So it'll be good to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to when you you first got the album put together. How did you feel when you listened to it back? That um, time you're sitting maybe in the studio and you're saying, "Let's have a final playback." Aye, that was good. That was good. It was the sort of... You don't like to bomb up your own music, but you get the goosebump feeling, you know, yeah. and I think I've just done that, you know. But it was it was, it was, was good sort of progress, you know, um, going through that. It took about a year and a half to record that album, yeah. just again because of funding. Um, so once it was all done, it was great. Great to get the final article. But we've yeah. actually moved studios now, so... Um, the new one we're doing in Irvine, whereas that was recorded in the air. Yeah. Um, so the new one's been done at the Wee Room Studio. Um, so that's, that's good stuff. Yeah. Them. So what was the, I mean, who, do, do you self-produce or do you get someone in to do that work for you? No, it's, it's totally just we do it as it is. You know. Yeah. Um, the only thing that album there wasn't ever mastered, which was probably the only thing I would have liked to get done just for a better sound. You know, but. Um, Apart from that, I self-produced. Yeah. I. That's, I mean, that's great. I mean, it is. I mean, I remember. I remember. Was it Craig that handed it in? No, was it? Was it? it was Craig, yeah, it was I, Craig yeah. that handed it in, and I, I took it home. And it's one of these things, Johnny. You always mean, you always mean to play it right away, but it sits on the desk. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest. Put my hand up, and it was a week after I, I got it. I listened to it, and I just went, wow. Aye. So you're saying it wasn't mastered, but it sounded pretty good to me. Sounds all right, aye. It's definitely just good enough, you know. If you're playing it in the radio, then yeah. aye, I'm happy with that. You yeah, know? fantastic. Anyway, you're going to perform. What's the first track that you're going to perform for us? Uh, we're going to do Follow Your Heart. Take it away whenever you want. Oh 
the things I like to find. Amazing guys. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, that was Follow Your Heart. That's a track on the album Love Is Blind. Now you're talking now we were talking about how you're re- recording some new stuff at the moment. I mean, what kind of feel is that? Is it different, totally different from this, or is it um, like a continuation? I think it's 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 different. It's this broad I'm I'm more kind of kind of country feel about it, isn't it? Americana. He's know. looking at like Mick deep, for inspiration deep here. Of, deep South sort of. Yeah. Like, almost bluegrassy, some of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's the kind of feel we're going for. So we might be looking for some banjo players and stuff like that. I'm trying. I mean, that song, Fall Out Heart, for me personally, sounds a bit Mumford and Sonny's. We're trying to sort of break away from that and yeah. make it more Scottish country, I suppose, but with the, the, the bluegrass influence. When I first listened to the album, there was a few tracks on that I actually thought. But then again, I'm not a big fan of Mumford and Sons, but I like your album. 
that's cool. Well, I've heard that a few times, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's just because I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. So what's the next song you're going to do for us? Uh, we're going to do Taxi to Glasgow, which is going to be on the new album. Um, I had the pleasure of hearing the demo for that, and that is a good song. It's a it's very good write, song. Aye, yeah. We're going to actually re record it because I've done that myself. Yeah. And um, we're going to re record it and get the boys in, you know, to get everything in with the drums and everything. It sounds even better, you know, especially the keys. Craig's of course it will. Craig's a whiz. Jules, Hon- Jules Holland's uh, son. That's Jules it. Holland, eat your heart out. <laughs> You've got Craig. Love child. Anyway, <laughs> Taxi to Glasgow coming up for Johnny Graham. It's a good song, Johnny. And I, I can even feel that, I hear that Americana influence in yeah, that track. Right, yeah, great wee track. I know you've got one more song you're going to do for us, but I'm going to play another track from the album. And I'm going to hope it's not the next track you're going to sing for us. So what track am I not playing, Johnny? Uh, number 10, don't play that. Oh, you might have known that's the one I, <laughs> that's the one I had lined up. Right, what we'll do, we'll go to number two. And we'll play Run With You. Does that sound okay? Here we go.
That's a track from Johnny Graham's album, Love Is Blind. And, you know, I mean, Johnny, apart from the music I was saying to you earlier, it's actually got probably one of the best covers that I've seen in a long time. Aye. Cut to say, Mr. Martin Bone. Indeed, aye. You've done well. You've done well with that. And it's funny, I was actually looking at, I'd said to you about the cover, where is it? Now, I know it's all superimposed, etc. But when you said Paris, yeah, I see that now. But I did say it looked very much like Quebec as well, so... There's, there's an influence there of some sort. You need to ask Martin. Yeah. Just give him a shout. It must be very Parisian, right down to the hoop kind of jumper you've got. And all you're needing is a berry on top now. And that would have been you, very, very French indeed. Oh, you garlic bulbs in my neck. <laughs> anyway, Johnny, you got a third song to do for us tonight. And obviously, it's the track that I had lined up to play <laughs> from the CD. That's Sod's Law. So that's just Sod's Law. Hopefully, we'll uh, take justice and make you. Glad you never put yeah. that one. So this uh, Johnny Graham and his band. I ought to say, right, we've got Mick on bass. Nick. Nick. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. This is not my day tonight here, isn't it? This is not my night. Not my night at all. But I know we've got Craig on keys. Yes. Yes. Oh, Craig. No, it's, no Craig, don't yeah. say that. Craig, you do it right. Don't say that. <laughs> and, of course, Johnny Graham on acoustic guitar. And, of course, those excellent vocals as well. So, Johnny and the band are going to play now Where I Belong. Take it away, guys. Where I belong, you take. 
love it, love it. Like down at the wee bass booth at the end there. Fantastic, guys. Listen, Johnny, what's uh, on the horizon for you? Um, what's 2014 going to hold for you? We've got, well, this this bigger drossing gig, that's the first step. Um, but mostly we'll just be recording, I yeah. think. So we're going to have a break from the gigs. We'll take a few a few higher profile ones. Um, yep. But I mostly about recording. So um, any funding is more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Get the message out there. That's it. Get it on your Facebook page. Get everybody to share it. That's it, aye. We're talking about doing a fundraiser, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of people are doing it nowadays, you know, the pledge pages and stuff Yeah, it like works that. for lots of bands. So, um, aye, it's definitely a quick way of doing it. But obviously, like, the fans can get an incentive for it. You know, yeah. they come, if they're going to come and spend money on us, then we can get them. It's an investment in an album, so it is. Definitely. And so many, even, I mean, even, like, a lot of bigger bands are now doing that. I mean, I, I don't, Marillion have been doing that for years. I've noticed a few bands that used to be signed are, are doing that as well. Yeah. You know, especially guys that's maybe um, played in bands and done no signed. Like Matt Morris, I think. He yeah. He done something like that. I think you're right, yeah. Um, yeah. So that it's popular, you know, um, and obviously it's a downturn, so. It's, um, it's a funny time to be in the music biz. Definitely. It's so hard, it's hard. I've noticed it. Lately, over the last year, it's it's really getting hard. It's even for me, getting cover gigs and stuff, like that's quite difficult. It's uh, it's all changing. I mean, I don't sit and watch your X Factors or anything like that, but I tend to think there's more accent on the image rather than the music these days. A lot of them. You get the odd cracking singer. Yeah. Get my but I, I'm sure that looks the best in the kind. Of well, I'm looking at a cracking singer just now, Johnny. <laughs> so um. Oh, cheers. Listen, I'll... <laughs> Show me the face. <laughs> <laughs> Get a radio gig if you want. <laughs> face for the radio. Yeah. So, Johnny Graham and Nick on bass. I've got it right this Yay. time. And, of course, Craig on keys. I want to say just a big thank you for coming into the studio. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. And don't forget, any new recordings. I'll be coming here. Just co- send them my way. So, Johnny... Nick and Craig, thanks a lot for coming into the studio. Thank you. Right, cheers, bud.